Hi, my name is uh, Kevin Keenan, I'm from the Cory Group and I'm, today I'm just going to talk to you how to create a stock file using Trimble Access. So at the moment I'm um, using a Trimble Access emulator. I have a couple of points here just on my map screen and from here I'm going to show you how to instantly create a stock file from this data and to get a quantity from this data also. So on my map screen I'm just literally going to make a window so I'm selecting the top left and I'm just going to make a window to the bottom right and this will highlight all the points for me. Once I have all these points highlighted I can actually hold down on the screen and from there I can instantly create a volume. So I can hit on compute volume and then there it will ask me to create a surface. So first off we have to create a surface for the volume to compute it to create um, a 3D um, model so it can actually work out how much cube is in the material. So from there I'm going to call this stockpile and I'm going to press OK and instantly it actually bypasses the map screen and it goes out into your general survey into the cocoa screen into the compute volume and it brings you straight into the screen instead of having to create a surface first and then go back out and go into cocoa to create the volume so it brings you straight into the volume screen from there the method is a quite similar to the Trimble Business Center software from there I can drop down and pick stockpile and in there it says stockpile and depression if that was an excavation it also gives the name of the surface so if I had stockpile like we just created or even if we had a stockpile with 3 inch down so I'll pick this stockpile and in there I can put in haul bulkage for cut or shrinkage for the fill so what I'm going to do is say there's a 10% fill um, shrinkage on that so what I do is enter that and it'll ask me then do I want to calculate it so I'll hit calculate and from there it tells me that the amount of material here so it tells you the cut which is zero and the adjusted fill volume is 20,538.915 um, cubic meters okay and it says that I added a 10% fill to that so if I go to the next page here it tells me here the in situ volume is um, cut and fill and the cut area and the fill area okay so in meter squared so the area of cotton fill so from there I can hit store and that will store um, down here in the bottom of the screen it said volume stored from there I can actually escape out and it instantly creates um, a 3D um, stockpile for me out of that data okay from there I can go into menu go into uh, Coco and go into compute volume so that's where we did earlier so that's where the this display was area where I did already so just to show you that goes in there but if I go out of there go back to my math screen go into menu and from there if I want an instant report I can go straight into jobs import export and go into export custom format and from there I can go into the file format drop down and go to the very bottom of my screen and there you'll see volume computation report I can select that report I can browse um, that to my USB key and hit accept and it instantly creates me a volume report on that stockpile. So that's how to create um, a surface that computes into a volume in Trimble Access. Also a handy one in that screen is if I escape out back into that screen and escape again. If I go into um, Coco and then if I go into compute volume in there I can go actually surface to surface as well so I can compu uh, compute an original surface to um, a formation but if I go into area and pick the stockpile what it does it gives me a surface area of that stockpile and in there I can actually put a depth of material so if I said I wanted 300 if you're wondering what units are 300 so 0.3 of a meter so 300 mil um, of a depth I can enter there hit calculate it'll also work out 
the quantity of volume of material for that surface area and that depth. So that's quite handy for doing topsoil and um, working out the amount of materials needed for concrete or for tar within um, if you surveyed a, a top of um, a road. So that's just a quick little tip there how to create uh, volumes from surface areas. Okay, thank you.